Hey guys, I'm back to do another review today. Today, I'm not going to be doing a toy review, but instead I'm actually going to be doing a recap review on the first two episodes of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers that was just re-aired the uh, first weekend in January. And this is what I gotta say. Well, first let me just ask you this. Would you rather watch the 1993 series or would you watch the 2010 series? If you honestly had to pick if your life depended on it, I say go for the 1993 series. It, it my friend, is not worth watching. Well, well, of course now I'm actually being like a little, like, a little irrational saying that right now, saying don't watch it ever. Of course, you know, everyone's differences and, you know, everyone's opinions are all valid. But, um, let me, uh, to give you my point of it. But, but, but let me tell you, let me tell you what happened. This is how it all happened. First, the intro was horrible. I mean, like, I'm like, first when they have Rita coming out of her dumpster, it seriously turns into a freeze frame, and then, and then, you know, this, like, this, like, background comes out, and, like, these, like, lightning bolts, pew, pew, stuff like that happens. And then, and then, you know, and, 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 and then once she says, it's time to conquer Earth, there seriously is, like, a huge, fast camera zoom toward the Earth, and then, boom, freeze frame right there on the Earth. And why? It's like, dude, not funny. And then, and then what they do is then, is then when, like, Alpha, Rita's escape. And do and do all that stuff. There, um, there, there's a shot of Alpha pressing pressing the controls, which was a shot from High Five, and and then and then when the Rangers are being transported to the to the command center from the youth center, that their shot is is clearly used from day of the dumpster. And then and then the worst of it happened. Once, um, once, once that their uh, Megazord was being formed, what, which was right before the lyric "Go, go, Power Rangers," was said, that their Megazord was rising up, and then boom, freeze frame, lightning strikes. No, I don't like that. And then to make things even worse, they went and used the brand new logo. Boring. But you know, here's the thing: they also used the old logo. During 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 uh, their advertisements for for the uh, TV show, and I'm thinking, um, why? If you seriously have got no problem using them for ads, why why don't you use it for like the actual intro? It seriously, seems like you're wasting a lot of time. And but you know, probably the worst thing of all was was you know was was like the way that they actually like presented each of those characters during 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 the uh, opening credits. It was horrible. It was just wrong, totally wrong. And then, and then like the worst part of it was, like, the like really crappy edits and really crappy animations being being put in the show. It's just all these like, the like all these freeze frames and lightning bolts and stuff like that. And like, why? Why are you trying to copy the Super Sente? And then people are probably gonna ask. What do you mean? Super Sentai never never did that. Actually, yeah, they did. They actually used it once in this uh, Dino Thunder episode, Lost and Found in Translation. They like doing all these like fancy animations and all that kind of stuff. And and you know really that their stuff really and I mean it really really detracts the whole the whole meaning of like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I mean think about it. Would would it be a lot easier to just like to just re air like we are like the entire ep the entire episode in its you know complete format no 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 fancy animations and no stuff like that and possibly the second worst thing was basically the zord roll call this sound was each and every time that those zords would like pop out there the series was like a subtitle which popped up and said and said like you know like let me just go down the list real quick. Red Red Ranger, Tyrannosaurus, Black Ranger, Mastodon, Blue Ranger, Tri Triceratops, Yellow Ranger, Sabertooth Tiger, Pink Ranger, Pterodactyl. Why? 
You don't need that. We all know what those words are, are seriously going to be called. We, we seriously are not dumb. And then, apparently they seriously need another subtitle called, called like, Dino Tank Mode, it was, I think. Or, or, uh, maybe it was Megazord Tank Mode. Don't quite remember. But it was horrible. We don't need that. But, the, but the only good thing was, is that they didn't have a Megazord Battle, Battle Mode, uh, subtitle. So, that... That was one good thing. And a really bad thing about this thing also was the fact that they had these really, really incredibly boring places to put a commercial break. There actually are more commercial breaks in this here re-airing than 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 like you know all uh, than like all previous airings. It's boring. It it, it seriously like doesn't make sense. It's like why? And then the and then and then like you know like the whole worst possible thing could could happen. And um, this is actually what I would call a tribute to Power Rangers Turbo, because you know how in Power Rangers Turbo, they they like would have like a they, they like would have like a uh, Zord come up on your TV screen, which then meant that the show was taking a break. Well, that's basically what they did for, for Day of the Dumpster and High Five. It usually would all depend on which ranger was in that shot. Kimberly was in one shot, and um, and uh, Trini was in the other one. Apparently, it seriously showed um, seriously showed um, Kimberly fighting in her in her Pink Ranger costume, and and all that other stuff. And Trini was also the same was also the same way. And, um, and, like, that there is really, really awful. Awful. It seriously sounds like you're going to give away the whole story. In fact, in fact, they actually gave away pretty much most of that story before the first commercial break. This is how it was. Apparently, in High Five, when, when uh, Rita was you know, doing her evil laugh... We seriously like saw like the monster of the day. It said there was bones, and then it just, and like there was all that like action stuff like that. There also was the there also was the giant which Jason fights, and and you know he's like there picking him up and doing that stuff. And and like right there, right there, it seriously sounds like you're gonna ruin ruin the whole show. So really, like, hey, what seriously is the point of watching if you're seriously gonna be like revealing the whole? the the whole story what is the point hello and and somehow bulk and skull are actually are actually giving their own fancy animations and really that there is really cutting down on time which just means you got to have a lot more uh, a lot more uh, animations done and stuff like that it it, it, it really is confusing the only the only way to really understand is if is if you know someone like post posts an episode. If someone does and you watch it, you'll understand. And possibly the most crude thing that they could ever do is seriously add these like action words during 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 the uh, putty scenes. Apparently, what they did to make it fun was was seriously was seriously do like the old sixties Batman thing. You know, like you know, like each and each and every time like a, a a putty or a ranger was hit, you seriously would see these big words come up like like pow, smack, bound, zing, boink and bonk and all and like and like and like all those stupid words would like which like pop out and like zoom. Why? Like, okay, we get it. You seriously are trying to make it funny for kids. But hey, Power Ranger series is not supposed to be funny. It seriously is supposed to be a really good action TV show for kids to watch and get into. It seriously isn't supposed to be some, like, Disney action movie. This series is supposed to be a Saban-made TV show, and you seriously should be treating it as such. Of course, I honestly don't know what I can do about this, but, hey, 
I'm trying my best. And um, that's actually uh, pretty much it for this for this little commentary. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope I uh, wasn't being too harsh on all those true MMPR fans. But hey, if you guys are true Power Ranger fans and you honestly want to watch that series and say, "Ooh, how exciting!" I I honestly will feel a little sorry for you because because you know to me honestly the show has to be the way you know Saban wanted it. Saban made it the way we grew up with, and you know, and you know, and you know that and you know that's the way it's supposed to stay. Don't change old things, which which are seriously already popular when they're old. Anyway, guys, that's it. I will see you around now. Take care.